Guys are looking to advance their first ever Atlantic 10 championship game against the St. Joe's Hawks, but they'd have to do it on the Hawks' home floor. Early on, the Bonnies had control of this game. Van Tatenhoven Jenkins could not miss. There's Jenkins from beyond the arc for three. She would move up to 99 threes in this game on the season, just one shy of her own program record of 100. There's Van Tatenhoven converting and getting the foul. And then Ortega, spin, jumper in the lane, got it. On the other end, Michelle Baker did her best to keep the Hawks in this game. She would have 22 on the day. And then here's Jenkins outside, driving strong, throwing up the floater, off the backboard and good. But Jenkins and Van Tatenhove would combine to score 29 points in this half. Bonnie's would only get 33. Here's Jake, here's Van Tatenhove, I'm sorry, off a set play for three. In the second half, the Bonnie's just pulled away. Their offense was clicking on all cylinders. Here off the break, CC Dixon gets this rebound, going strong. Gonna drive right by Prim for the layup. No one can catch her. CC Dixon had herself a nice game. And then taking off, refuses the handoff, goes up strong, gets the layup. Bonnie's coasting in this second half. They would lead by as many as 30. There's Jenkins finishing off one leg. And then Chelsea Boker showed off the handles today. Going strong, getting a layup and the foul. And finally here, Amelia Horton putting on a dribbling clinic. Going by her defender, going up with a jumper in the lane, finishes the two. The Bonnies cap this one off and move on to the finals with a 78-52 victory. Know, I, I didn't even have a, a clue what the uh, difference was, the score difference. Um, and it certainly wasn't that much of a margin uh, as the final result showed. Uh, I have more respect than I can explain uh, for St. Joe's and their program. Uh, for Cindy, her staff, and the kids in the program. Uh, when we tried to, to turn things around, uh, this was the place we were emulating uh, with their class, their work ethic, and how they did things. Um, and earlier in the year, one of our players had a very unfortunate situation with losing her home to a fire. And St. Joe's players and staff sent money to her. An unbelievable gesture. And so I have, they do it the right way, and, and Whoever was going to win this game, uh, I, I was hopeful, uh, would keep going. And uh, it, it's never fun to, to beat friends, um, but uh, I thought we did what we needed to do. I was really pleased with the way we defended, uh, especially in the first half. And I thought that we were able to build a lead, which forced them to have to work really hard to try to come back. Uh, and with playing the third game in three days, I thought that fatigue set in uh, through that effort trying to come back. And that's where we were able to kind of finish it off. Jess, I heard you were sick that yesterday. Is that, uh, it was, it is, first of all, is, is that true? And, and was there a point where you felt okay to go today? Um, yeah, I mean, I just rested a lot yesterday. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, I knew I'd be ready to go today. Just oh. got a lot of rest. And once they kind of throw it up, you know, you know, it's about it. So. Just, was there a moment for that you and Meg, you guys took over, as uh, especially in, in that first half and for the game? Was there a point where you guys just knew this was – this was going to be a day for both of you? Um, I don't know. I mean, Megan played really well, had like a run just like on her own, and then they had to start doubling her, so other people got good looks. I mean, when she's playing really well like that, and I'm hitting some open jump shots, it's just really hard to guard us. But I think it all started inside with her, you know, making easy layups to start. It's been pretty nice to have your seniors decide they're not losing this game. I think they've decided that for a while. Uh, and that's all of them. Uh, you know, Arm didn't have big numbers, um, but she did a great job on Baker. I mean, Baker hit some tough shots. Uh, Arm switched on to her and, and, and really made her work even harder. And that's, I thought she missed some as a, the game went on because she got fatigued. Um, and Jenny just makes great plays and keeps everybody uh, excited and enthusiastic. Um, you know, they're, they're a special, special group. And uh, I think people have kind of figured that out by now. I, I said it for a long time and uh, I don't, want them to go anywhere so hopefully they don't want to go anywhere and we can stick keep going for a while it was still a game and Jess gets a steal and runs down and throws in a three in transition pretty big play mm -hmm. takes a lot of courage to take that shot yeah well it's better than her trying to go to the basket trust me <laughs> <laughs> uh, she knows that's not her strength and she knows she has free reign on those um you know we have uh, she's earned full confidence from every single one of us because she's worked so hard and and I've told you before Chuck she there's a lot of people who can make shots there's not a lot of people who make big shots and both of these kids can make big shots and to have two of them uh, is a really really uh, special thing as a coach Jess what do you remember about that play? That I wasn't going to the basket <laughs> I, just, I mean they had like a couple of people coming at me from behind so I was probably going to turn it over if I didn't chuck it so might as well throw it up there and give us a chance 
Maggie, you're smiling when she says that because that doesn't. She doesn't just chuck it up there, really. I mean, she's got a really nice touch when she does that, though. So that, that's what she does. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing shooter. I'm glad she's on my team. She's an amazing teammate, and I mean, every time she shoots it, I know what's going. In, or at least think it is. <laughs> May, early in, in the game, Jess hit a three-pointer, and you did a little fist pump, and, and you had, a, I think, a three-point play. You had a big play. Not that you guys don't play with emotion, but you don't show it a lot, and you were showing it a lot early to, today. Was, was it a – I know it's a game, but was it a special game being in the semifinals? Was this a game that you guys went into really just – you wanted to make a statement early on? I think, yeah. I think every game we always want to start strong, but especially since this is the first time we've been in a semifinal game – and we're looking to keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. Jim, what about where you guys are? I mean, kids dream of playing a national televised game, a high profile televised game, and now all of a sudden you guys are here. It's as much as you can do with a season like this. I yeah, think. I mean, I still think there's a little more we can do, but um, it, it's, it's been an amazing run, um, and it's, it, it's great, uh, the support. I mean, the number of people that came down here and. We're excited and, and are enthusiastic about this group is, is, is so meaningful. Um, and, and there's a lot of other things going on, uh, but I was just saying to someone, when they step between the lines, they just play. And, and that's, like yesterday, we just wanted to get to noon. Today, we just wanted to get to noon. Tomorrow, it'll, we just want to get to five o'clock. We, we just want to get between the lines and play. If, if it doesn't go our way, we at least know we're gonna do what we do and, and, and see where it takes us. Coach, you seem to, Coach, you seem to attack early on from the interior, you know, really going up to the post. Was that just what the offense or their defense was giving you, or was that more than No, I, I mean, that's, we got a really good player. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we wanted to get her touches. We felt it was a favorable matchup for us uh, because she's so tough to guard with her ability with the bounce. Um, and we knew they, you know, would try to – would be after Jess as well. So we wanted to run a few different looks to free Jess up. And, and again, she made the shots, which helped. And then, um, you know, Meg was really aggressive and, and using her footwork. And, and, you know, the thing that people have forgotten is Meg's only really been 100% probably the last five, six games. Um, you know, and, and so we're seeing right now what, how good she is. And, and they both – they're very different, but they're the same in one incredible way. They love to compete. And, you see that every time we play. Any additional questions for Coach or the players? Uh, Coach, you said yesterday you were excited for the crowd energy, um, especially with uh, home court St. Joe's. And Jess, um, early in the game, a particular fan said number 14 is all hype, no substance. Um, what did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> said it loud. Uh, it's quite you, a you see the smile, <laughs> smile after you said it. Tell the uh, fans down here. Yeah. Um, just Kind of with that, with, with the crowd energy, like you said, and then kind of showing up that way, both of you almost outscoring St. Joe's on your own. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I'll let them, that, that's their competitive side. Um, you know, that's, I've always said I think we should have it at a host site, and this was the first time we actually played in a meaningful game at a host site, and I, I would never change my mind on that. That was a great college basketball atmosphere. I mean, you had a televised game, you had groups. I felt like I was in a gym in Indiana. Uh, you know, the way the crowds were kind of going at each other and, and the energy that was going on. Um, and, you know, our, both teams deserve that. And, and I thought they both reacted pretty well to it. Uh, Maybe Jess, just both of you, just give a quick thought on playing in a game that you absolutely can decide and then see if you can it. If you win it, just getting that far and at this point in your career is to get a chance to play in that kind of game. That's been our goal from the start. We can't see it coming, but we have to prove ourselves first. she does I mean and that's and I thought Jordan had a great effort play in the last minute going after a rebound and you know that's the backbone of who we are uh, we can control how hard we play and the clock doesn't matter the score doesn't matter the opponent doesn't matter and our kids believe that and, and I think they uh, for the most part exemplify that every time they step on the floor thank you coach thank you